Although I wear many hats, I am not a professional film critic, and I know that you will be absolutely shocked with my audacity when I say that I think that actually makes me perfectly qualified to critique a film, because I'm a normal person. But over the weekend, I had the pleasure of screening the movie Getting Grace, but beyond that, I had the even greater pleasure of sitting down to coffee with the writer, director, and producer who also stars in the film, Daniel Roebuck. Now, you probably know him from a lot of stuff out there. He has a very recognizable face. He is in The Man in the High Castle. He was in Glee, Weeds, Lost, uh, and just about any other series you've ever seen in many, many movies. He's a very busy actor. But I know that a lot of you have been following me since I got my start on Fox News on The Greg Gutfeld Show. He was also a guest on Gutfeld recently, so you might know him from that. Okay, I don't want to give too much away about the plot, but Getting Grace is the story of a teenage girl, Grace, who is facing the realities of terminal cancer. She has such a powerful and positive impact on the people around her and a very quirky and hilarious approach to making end-of-life decisions. I found there to be so many in millennial speak LOL moments, literally laugh out loud moments, but I will warn you, you will probably shed some tears as well. But it is such a uh, profound film and I think that it is an intrepid contrast to a lot of the content that's out there today. It's family friendly and you cannot miss the undeniable Christian themes throughout the movie. Faith, forgiveness, redemption, and of course, grace. And I think that you will find aspects of each character's personalities that you can relate to. I think that's part of the intent of it and a part of the beauty of it. It shows how real humans react when they're faced with such a difficult situation, the loss of a loved one. And I don't know about you, but I get so tired of seeing TV and film that gives such glossy impressions of how people should be in times of adversity. Getting Grace shows a a beautiful and refreshing realness, and I think that it is absolutely worth your time to watch it. And you're in luck that I am so cool and am now in with the director, producer, writer, actor, Daniel Roback, because I happen to have a clip for you. So let's check it out. I want to believe because I believe, not because I'm afraid of dying. Teach me. To bend spoons or to believe? It's the dying that really is easy. How am I doing? You don't choose to die. It just happens when it happens. But living right takes fighting and commitment and honor and all those things that are so hard for so many humans. I'm not strong. Not like you. What are you afraid of, Bill? Me? Well, you'll be glad to know that it's only convenient to soon pass. The film opened in select theaters last weekend, but if you didn't get a chance to see it, I encourage you to go to the website for the film and see where it is showing near you. The website is gettinggracethemovie.com. That's gettinggracethemovie.com. Follow them on Facebook, that's Getting Grace, and on Twitter at getting underscore grace. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'm Amanda Head for The Rebel. If you enjoyed my commentary and want to hear more from all of us over here at The Rebel, subscribe to our premium content at www.therebel.media forward slash shows. And make sure you're following us on Facebook and Twitter for all of our latest news. Also, download our new app for The Rebel Media on the App Store. Download it and you will have access to all of our latest videos and, of course, your favorite Rebel shows. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Amanda Head for The Rebel.